everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to share with you a picture book called Say Hooray by Renee Haywood and Rebecca Mills. This is a beautiful picture book that came out at the end of February this year, released by Fremantle Press, who sent me a review copy, so thank you very much to them. This is a super cute book. The synopsis for this book as stated on the Fremantle Press website, is a celebration of baby achievements. So Say Hooray is the perfect book to engage the whole family in those special moments of baby's early days. From rolling front to back to waving goodbye, the playful rhymes and vibrant illustrations make this an amazing read aloud for babies and older siblings alike. That's pretty much what this book is. Each page has a different baby milestone and it's celebrated in you know, bright, bold, colourful pictures. It's gorgeous and fun and just very inviting to look at. It's pretty fun to read aloud. It's really simple rhyming text, which makes it really lyrical to listen to. So that always enhances a great read aloud. The other thing that I really love about this is all of these characters have really great expressions on their faces, which may sound like something weird and small to pick up on. But while this book is probably a little bit young to use even in a foundation classroom because it is dealing with the milestones of a one-year-old, it would be good to pick out if you're doing a lesson around feelings or emotions because these illustrations of these children are so expressive. And even here when you have the character who's in two minds of things and having those to talk about how you're feeling, how do you know and what do you see on someone's face, like that's a really great use for a picture book like this for one-year-olds or five-year-olds. But as I said, this is primarily written for early childhood. So babies and families with children who might be reaching their first year and are experiencing all their milestones. Like in the back of my head, I'm thinking this is going to be a great book to pass on to my sister because she's about to have her first child and she will be going through these milestones with her own child over in sort of the upcoming 12 to 18 months. And it's a really beautiful way to celebrate all of those amazing things that happen because as children learn, like I don't work with infants, but I do work with young children. And as we watch children grow and learn and reach different milestones and achieve different successes that they didn't think that they could do, it's an amazing experience as an adult to be part of that with them. And of course, because this is linking milestones with individual children, all of these children in the book have names and their names rhyme with sort of their milestone. It would be really fun with your own child to come up with their own sort of little mini milestones book and see if you can come up with a little rhyme for them because that would engage them and would personalize the text to them. But honestly, this was just a delight to read. I don't often read books written for this age group, mostly because I tend to have the books with children the age group that I'm working with. So it was really nice to explore it. It was just great to see books that have diverse representation in them written for early childhood audiences. So thank you again to Fremantle Press for sending me a copy of this. I was very excited to read it. I will leave everything linked down below so that you can go and check this book out for yourself. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a banana emoji down below. If you read the book, you'll figure it out. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.